Hi guys, good morning and welcome to Covenant City Church Morning Devotional. Today we will study from a passage that includes a verse that is very familiar for most of us. We will look at Philippians chapter 4 verses 10 to 13 and, and for most of us we have seen or recited verse 13 many times in our lives. Um, it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Um, we might have seen it um, in coffee mugs, in, in phone casing, in t-shirts, or we might also have recited this during a sport competition back in high school. Um, like in a basketball competition, we say, I can do all this uh, through him who strengthens me, uh, meaning that we can win this. Uh, but what if both teams recite this verse? Um, or for some of us, we say this first before we take a difficult exam for our job, uh, which might imply, I can ace this exam um, and, and get the job through him who strengthens me. So um, let us look at the context of this passage more clearly and let me open us in prayer before we do that. Um, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, your word is perfect refreshes our soul uh, would you grant us the wisdom father to understand your word to abide by your word to be transformed by it and and cause us as well to walk according to it um, in jesus name we pray amen um, so philippians chapter 4 verses 10 to, uh, through 13 let me read it for us I rejoice in the Lord greatly, that now, at length, you have revived your concern for me. You were indeed concerned for me, but you had no opportunity. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Thus says the Lord. So today there are two things that I would like us to see. Um, first, what do all things refer to in the sentence, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So what do all things refer to? Uh, and second, what is the secret to do that? What is the secret of doing that? Uh, so let us see the context of this passage. Uh, Paul wrote this letter to the Philippians when he is in prison. And, and the main idea of this paragraph is about contentment, about joy. Um, Paul is overflowed with joy. He said, I rejoice in the Lord greatly. And this paragraph is um, explaining the joy in him. Um, Paul is grateful uh, for the generosity of the Philippians for him because there were times uh, when the Philippians had concern for Paul but they had no opportunity. Um, but, but the joy that Paul refers to here is not speaking of being in need. Paul's joy over um, their gifts is not flowing, is not flowing out, of the, uh, out of his love for the gifts. It is actually explained in verse 17 that the gift is an evidence or fruit of the Philippians' faith. And, and, and Paul explains from his end why he rejoices over the generosity, but not in terms of being in need, not in terms of being discontent uh, and unsatisfied with the current situation. He says, not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. Um, Paul has learned the measurement of sufficiency or, or how much is enough. Uh, it does not depend on the situation. He further explains, I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance, and need. So, so this is the explanation uh, regarding 
what do all things refer to in the sentence I can do all things through him who strengthens me? He contrasts two different things, to be brought low and to abound, facing hunger, facing plenty, in need, in abundance. He covers both ends of a pendulum, which really means all things. So whether I have much or I have little, when I am to be brought low or to abound. And he said, in, um, in any and every circumstance, he has learned the secret of facing the situation. I can do all things, both in need and in abundance, in every situation, in both pendulums. And it also means both pendulums in terms of career, in terms of relationships, in terms of financial situation, in terms of health, and so forth. I can do all things. But we might ask, how though? What is the secret to do that? How can I do all those things? How can I be content in any and every circumstance? which is the second point, what is the secret of doing that? The secret is the means of it, the mode of the action, the how to part, which is through him, through Christ who strengthens me. That is the secret that I can be content in any and every circumstance. The Lord is the one who is in action, who enables me to do all things. And what things again? Not just when we win a competition, but when we lose it. Not just when we ace uh, the job examination, but when we fail that. Or when we lose our job, when we are to be brought low, when we lose someone, when we are in the season of waiting. I can do all these things because he is the one who is in action who strengthens me. And that means I'm not independent. I'm not self-sufficient. I'm not the one who is fighting. The source is not from me. The secret is, it is not I, but the grace of God that is in me, that is with me. And that is the meaning, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. I can be content in any and every circumstance. My joy does not depend on the situation. And that also means we do not have to wait till the situation changes to have this contentment. Because our contentment does not come from the circumstance. Our contentment lies in the means of it. In Him who supplies us the power to be content. And friends, he is the source of the contentment. We will never be run out of it. Well, um, it also does not mean that we cannot openly and vulnerably ask God specifically about our current situation. We can ask, we can pray, we can bring all our requests to our Father, but we don't project our hope in the changing of the situation. We project our hope in his power and in his love for us we project our hope we rest in knowing that in the current situation or in a completely different situation we can do all things we can be content through him who is the source of it and who supplies us continuously with it let's pray Dear Heavenly Father, you are the rock of ages. You are the fountain of living waters. You are the source of contentment and joy. Father, would you help us in our weaknesses and limitations? Would you help us in our hardship? Would you, would you help us to endure in the current situation? Would you help us to, to rest, to project our hope in what you have done and what your promises are. Um, help us to turn our eyes on you, on the truth always. Um, and, and really thank you, Father, that, that really we can do all things 
through you who gives us strength, who strengthens us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.